What's up YouTube, Jeff back again from DopeTechDaily.com and today I'm bringing you guys another video covering the Android Pie early beta releases for the Samsung Galaxy Note 9 and the Galaxy S9 Plus. Now, I already made a couple of videos, I made a review of the first early beta build that was available over on XTA from my friend Max Weinbach and I'll drop the link below to his original tutorial in my video. Um, but there were quite a few things in that first beta build that weren't working, that we were able to spot, but they weren't working. There's now a new version available, uh, which Max actually updated the files on his website over on XDA. And uh, I will post a link to the new files if you want to install it. Uh, so I want to talk about some of those new features today that actually are working now. One of those is night mode. So you may remember from my very first video that I showed you guys here inside display night theme, you can turn this on or off. If you turn it off, I'll show you guys really quick. It's gonna look really bright there, but you can see what it looks like there. I'm just getting used to the new gestures, which is the other thing I wanted to talk about. This is what it looks like without night theme. If you go into display though and turn it on, you can see now night theme works very well. Uh, in the old version of the beta, you had all these white cards on the black background. It looked terrible in my opinion. A bunch of people who commented on my first review also really hated it, so now that is completely fixed. Um, also, another thing I noticed is when you swipe down from the notification tray now, the notification tray doesn't go all the way down like it did before. It stops a little bit before your uh, navigation bar here at the bottom. I don't have the navigation bar enabled right now because I'm using the gestures, which we'll talk about in a second. Overall, it looks a little bit cleaner. They clean things up a little bit. Also, when you actually uh, have some notifications uh, in your tray here, the notifications now behave a little bit better as well. So the other thing you guys can see here that I'm using is, like I said, no navigation bar at the bottom. I am using the gestures, which are now operational. These were broken in the original release. So if you go into settings here, also under display, and scroll down a little bit to where it says navigation bar, you'll find the gesture option in there. It's right there, full screen gestures. The little graphic there kind of shows you exactly what's going to happen when you use them. Uh, you're going to swipe up from the middle to go home, swipe up from the left to get recent apps, and swipe up from the right to go back. So you can swipe up from the left, you get into your recent app drawer, you've got some uh, suggested apps down here. You can swipe up one more time to get to all of your apps if you want. Uh, you can swipe from the right there to go back as you saw right there. Uh, and then if I go back into settings and I want to go directly home from an app, I just swipe up and it goes right home. Now in using these in limited time here, I've used it for about a day, um, very smooth. I'm really impressed uh, with this new gesture-based navigation. Uh, I actually like it way better than I do the Pixel navigation gestures um, on Android Pie. This version's a lot smoother, it's a lot more intuitive. Uh, you also don't have this extra button down here. You know, they kind of went all in on the gestures. Uh, there's just still a few things with smoothness and also uh, the way it behaves when you're actually in the app sort of view that I would like to improve. Maybe get some haptic feedback like they have on the Pixel. That's a really nice thing. There's no haptic feedback here when you swipe from left to right. So I kind of like to see some haptic feedback. It's just kind of a nice uh, thing to sort of let you know that you're switching between apps in the view. Uh, but other than that, I'm really impressed with Samsung's gesture-based navigation. I think it's gonna be a pretty big hit when Android Pie hits uh, stable on Galaxy Note 9, Galaxy S9, etc. There's also a couple other changes in this build. Uh, you do have a new phone icon there at the bottom. You can see it's kind of weird looking, but um, there's a couple of other new icon changes. Mainly the stock Samsung icons look a little bit different. They've been playing around with things like that. So the main difference here in terms of features is the usability of night mode, which I showed you guys, and then also the usability of the gestures. Both of those things were broken in the original uh, early beta build. Otherwise, this build is much more stable. I haven't noticed as many crashing apps, uh, as many errors or security warnings, which I got on the first to early beta. There was all kinds of crazy stuff happening. Uh, I'll report back in a few days if you follow me on Twitter to let you guys know if this is something you might be able to use for a semi-daily driver. Again, the disclaimer always goes out. This is an early beta build. Probably shouldn't be using this as your main device um, unless you know, you're a very adventurous person. I have multiple other phones um, that I can use as a primary device if this one has problems. All right, guys, that's a quick look at the gestures and the new night mode, both working now on Samsung's Android Pie beta. The official beta program is probably going to be starting pretty soon. Uh, I'll drop the link to XDA where they talk a little bit more about that and how you can join it uh, if you have an unlocked model or certain carrier models here in the U.S. Uh, one note quickly about the wallpaper. I know some people are going to hate this wallpaper. 
Some people are gonna love this wallpaper. So if you wanna comment on the wallpaper, feel free. I'll drop a link below, it's from Backdrops. Anyway, I appreciate you guys checking out the video. Find me at dopetechdaily.com, Google+, Instagram, Twitter, the link's in the description. I really appreciate you guys checking it out, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.